my lovelies is Nisha. So today I am going to try magnetic liner lashes and we will have a chat and update about the situation we are in. Okay, my lovelies. Uh, so, I have lots of fake lashes. I've had these for a while. That's the good thing about the situation we find ourselves in. I'm finding stuff that I bought ages ago, forgot about. One of them is the lipstick I've got on and it cheered me up no end. I found it in my drawer, it was still in a box, so I haven't even taken it out. I can't remember when I bought it, why I bought it. And this is from Jouer. I don't know what this is called. Let me to put my glasses on. Uh, the writing is so small, I can't even tell you with my glasses on. I know that the color is poppy because that's quite big writing, but what this is called, no one knows. Anyway, it looks like this. I will find it online and link it. And this is more of a balm, what well, it feels like a balm. Uh, it's so, so moisturizing and soft, um, but very pigmented. So look at that. It doesn't stay on your lips for a very, very long time at that intensity because it is very very balmy i don't know if you can see how shiny that is i've got very similar um lipstick from charlotte tilbury um that i bought in a summer do you remember i can't remember what it might be coachella coral i can't remember the name but at the same time i bought this um lip liner from Kiko from Sicilian Notes and this one is 04. It's a perfect, perfect match. So this cheered me up. Um, you can see how much time I've got on my hands. I have a fresh tan on. Um, I did my nails in this um, pretty pastel um, yellow and I even put little rhinestones on it. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. There you go. So yes, I'm keeping myself busy. I am wearing um, today Raquel Welch Editor's Peak, but I've just put it in a clip at the back. Uh, you probably will see me from now on just in wigs. My hair is just looking terrible. It looks okay on a day that I've just styled it, but after that, it's a nightmare and I'm not about to wash and style my hair every day. Quickly, just how I'm feeling. We don't know, but we are pretty convinced that Paul and I, and maybe even Max, have a... We have in quite mild signs. A Paul woke me up in the middle of the night with like a cough attack. Um, and... I feel okay but that's why I think this might be it because it's so different to any anything else so yeah we don't know I mean I've, I've just um, heard on on a TV some experts saying that there were some studies done in Germany and apparently 80% of people have very very mild symptoms that's why I think the testing would be so, so is so important um, like I said, I get up, when I wake up, I feel the worst. So I wake up usually with a banging headache, very sore throat, and now and again, I want to cough. Now, um, if I like run upstairs and I am quite fit, I find myself that my breathing is not as good as it normally is. And then I might feel fine for a while and then I might start feeling really tired in a day and I sometimes will fall asleep on a sofa. Uh, then I might get a bit of headache again. So very unusual, inconsistent 
symptoms and I'm thinking well where, where would I get it but this is just proof if if since February or January people were walking around with mild symptoms didn't know also remember Max only just started working from home it was week on Monday so he could have brought it from somewhere um, before we were on lockdown Paul was going to supermarkets quite often you know to just buy a bit every time I've been to hospital just before the lockdown so I could have caught it in hospital because it takes about two weeks to to start showing symptoms so I don't know but thankfully uh, so far so good if we have it we have it very mild and obviously we are completely isolated so let's hope this is not gonna get any worse but I definitely feel like not right in this area so that's a little update I am not like ill that I can't do anything I like right now I'm feeling quite good my my head feels a bit you know like you have that muzzy head but I'm quite fine that's what I don't understand it's it's really really weird anyway let's do these lashes so I have seen people using these um I don't know how they work I haven't even obviously opened this box so I'm going to see how to use it so you don't need any adhesive it is long lasting waterproof it's paraben and latex free so you get in here liner brush and lashes so let's see how you do it right glasses back on gently peel off magnetic lashes and remove magnetic magnetic gel liner residue from the band oh hang on let me open it because otherwise i need to look at what i'm talking about okay so that's how the stuff looks inside so it looks like you get the liner in a pot with a little eyeliner brush okay so i can see on these lashes these little little rectangles that are probably magnets and he says to peel off any glue residue and I think what they mean because when the lashes are in here they have tiny bit of something sticky just to attach to the box but I don't see mine having any residue on them to remove magnetic gel liner gently wipe an oil based makeup remover over closed eyelids until clean he says to apply on clean and dry lids for best result, use primer prior to application. If you need to reposition magnetic lashes, once the magnetic gel liner has dried, slowly peel off the lashes and gently remove any magnetic gel, gel liner residue from bands. Oh, that sounds actually quite complicated. Taking care not to detach magnets from the lash band. Okay, let's try it. First of all, I'm going to see if these lashes are not too long, if I have to trim them. Sorry if you're going to see my mirror here, but I just need to see if they are not too big. Right, let's clip the hair away first. Mm, they look okay I don't think I need to trim them okay let's do this line so remember if this doesn't work it must might be because they say to apply it on clean dry lids and if this, that's the case I wouldn't be using them because I like to have makeup on my lids so I think it would be quite inconvenient to put the lashes on first and then do your make, you know, your eyeshadow. Okay, so oh, it's very soft. So I already have mascara on. It's a nice eyeliner actually. <laughs> I 
I'm going to extend it here a bit so maybe it will so I know I've got enough liner I tell you this eyeliner is really nice just as an eyeliner <laughs> Because you need to apply it quite close to your own lashes. It doesn't say if you wait for it to dry or nothing, so I'm not sure. There is my liner. This is exciting. Okay. That was very easy, but are they actually sticking? Oh, it just came off. So I don't know if they are sticking because the liner is tacky or the magnet is actually catching on. They seem to be very easy to put on. They stay there. But this one doesn't want to. Yeah, this inner corner is not staying at all. Maybe I need to put a bit more liner there. It's not working. I must say that just going like this, they seem to stay there, but I don't know if it's because the liner is tacky, that's why they just... Yeah, the inner corner definitely doesn't want to attach. I'm getting very annoyed now. Oh my God. I tell you something, they are definitely not for me. Now, this is not working for me. Let's have a look at the other one. Oh, this one really stuck. This one I can actually feel sticking so I don't understand why this one is not sticking yes this one stuck I could actually feel feel the pull so what's wrong with this one maybe you have to wait for it to dry because this one was on for quite a while wasn't it before I put that one on so this one is on let me bring you closer because okay so this one is on but as you can see you can't really put them like you know like I push my eyelashes up hang on well you can a bit but I feel you don't have as much um, you don't have as much control as you have with the glue on lashes because they just get stuck to this magnet but when it comes to ac actual application definitely really really easy okay this one still doesn't want to stick here at the front oh it just did okay they both they are both on okay so in that case i feel like you have to put that liner on and wait a bit just as if you would with the glue but look at the liner so i feel like you have to be very good at applying eyeliner i did it just any old how i don't know if i could have done it thinner hmm i am not sure but they they are definitely do you know, I think they would be good for people that are not good at applying 
um, eyelashes on so you could practice. Just practice the the way you you know you attach the eyelashes, move them about, but I don't like it because they are sort of pointing downwards. So because the magnets are like on, on the side of the band, if you know what I mean. I don't know. And they are very easy to pull off. You just pull them off like you would any mag separate any magnet. But um, I don't feel, I can hardly see them. I, I don't think they give me like a false lash eff effect at all. All you can see is really the line now, which actually looks quite nice. Um, I hope the magnet magnetic liner is not bad for your eyes because I quite like it as a liner and I could just use it as a liner. Yes, so I would say this is not for me. Maybe there are other companies that do it that are a bit they have nicer lashes I don't know but this is not for me it will take me a couple of goes to adjust it I think the most important thing is you need to wait a bit for that um, eyeliner to dry not try to put it on straight away because you saw how quickly this one went in and I think then I might have a bit more um, control on this one is coming off this one is stuck on really well but this one keeps coming off look I can just pull it off and does this but it sticks back on I don't know I wonder if they stay on all day maybe I keep them on all day and let you know if they stayed on or was I walking around with lash that sticks out i think i still prefer my glue on lashes i'm quite used to putting them on i've been doing that for years although i don't wear them very often and i feel like i've got a bit more control i wonder if they do pre-cut magnetic lashes they would be probably even better you know like i have adult pre-cut lashes they come in four different sections that would be even easier so i might have a look if they do the pre-cut ones they i reckon they would be even easier to put on okay my lovelies that's all for today <clears throat> stay, stay safe and stay fabulous bye